Hi! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create simple blends of colors that alcohol inks are famous for. So for that, I'm simply going to use a synthetic paper like this. And what I would do is, it's not compulsory, but I want some clean edges. So I'm going to use a simple scotch tape and tape around the edges of this paper just like this and I am sticking the paper on my table so you can do that on a board or any other uh, you know surface that doesn't get stained or doesn't get destroyed by the tape so I just use any cello tape or uh, scotch tape for this for taping the paper it gives very nice and clean edges do not use masking tape that you use for watercolors because that tape will get stained and will stain the paper eventually. So there's no point of using it because you will not be getting any clean edges by using that kind of a tape. So go for any cello tape, um, plastic based tape that will cover your paper. The removing part of the tape is very important because if you just remove it like that with a jerk you will be destroying your paper as well. So we don't want that to happen. For that you will have to heat the tape a bit with your dryer and remove it, peel it gently so that you do not rip away the top layer of your paper. So I am done with taping my paper on this surface. One more thing that you have to be careful about is your table must be leveled for this technique otherwise you will notice that all the inks will you know come back to one side wherever the um, um, you know incline is. So we don't want that to happen that's why I have taped the paper and I want my table to be flat for this. What I have taken out for this technique are a few colors. This time I have taken out a few shades of blue. So uh, these are by DIY for you. I have taken out lake, teal and, and jungle. These are the shades that I have picked. Alcohol and pinata brass. There are two ways of working with this technique. The first one I am going to show you on this and another way which you can do on bigger surfaces because every time you cannot do the way we do it we, we, we will do on this paper so for bigger surfaces I will show you on another piece of paper so in this technique what we do is we fill the entire surface with alcohol yeah one more tool that you will need is of course the lens blower tool so the first step is now to fill the entire surface with alcohol make sure that it goes everywhere if you don't cover certain parts it's it's okay right now because once we start blowing with the tool it will go everywhere then you can use your inks and drop them at some places like I'm putting some teal here some blue um, oh sorry that was jungle this is teal I like to keep the colors slightly separated so we get those different colors happening um, in different areas and they don't mix completely. Some dark blue and now when you have to add gold or any metallic you have to shake the bottle really well and try and drop it over the wet surface on top of the ink. So I like to do it like this on top of the inks anywhere you like. And then what I do is add one more drop of alcohol on top of the gold so that it starts to move. Gold is really heavy because it has a pigment powder in it so it doesn't move so easily. That's why I add some more alcohol. Now all you need to do is just play with your inks. Just blow them around especially blow on the gold like this from the sides and gently. Do not push very hard with this tool otherwise you will just end up blowing the ink you know out of your paper. Just blow gently like this here and there. You have to blow on top of the gold so that it starts to move otherwise gold will not move so much. 
as you can see there's a lot of alcohol and ink because we need it uh, we need it to be very wet so that we have enough time to play if it dries midway we cannot add more alcohol in the middle of the work because that will make that area white wherever we will add more alcohol that place will become white so we don't want that to happen mm. we just keep playing like this if you feel that you know uh, gold is not enough like i feel that i can add maybe one more drop of gold here i'm just adding on top only and always shake your gold bottle really really well otherwise you will just get the sediment and not the floating part and just keep playing with this till the time you're happy with how it looks and after that just leave it that is what you have to do you have to leave it and let it air dry that's very important for this technique when we use the dryer it creates a lot of lines so we don't want that um, we want very soft gentle gradients happening so for that i'm just playing around till the time i think the inks have blended and then i will just leave it and let it dry on its own without any uh, heating or any tool all you need to do is to make sure that the inks are mixed well and the gold has come to the surface it's not lying at the bottom some of it will will definitely lie at the bottom of your painting because that's how the gold is it has some shimmer as well as some floating parts so i'm just adding some more gold <laughs> just like the look of the gold on darker colors so you know when you have to add gold do it on a wet surface never on a dry surface because then the gold will not move we want the gold to move well so on very very wet surface you can keep playing till the time the inks are wet if they have started to dry you should stop playing because otherwise you will create some textures or things that you don't like so just stop playing i think i should stop playing now because this part has almost dried so i'll just stop and we shall wait for this to dry you cannot see the shine of the gold because the light is not falling on it directly let me just put some light so now you can see the um, bits of gold shining once it is dry completely i will show you i will remove the tape and we shall see i'm just using a paper towel and wiping this excess here Sometimes this uh, ink that accumulates creates some unwanted effects on the painting while it is drying. So um, not necessarily all the time but sometimes. So I kind of wipe it off so that my edges remain clean. you have to really make sure that um, your surface is level like in my case i can see the ink going this way this paper was also slightly curved so it was really important to tape it make sure that your paper is either completely flat or you know you must tape it to make it flat if it is not completely flat i'm just getting rid of the excess as it uh, flows out of the paper as in when it is coming just uh, gently rubbing my paper towel on it so that the ink doesn't spoil the work that's it I think now we'll just wait for it to dry while I just talk to you guys uh, it is really really important for this to dry naturally and do not rush do not think that you can use the dryer to dry it because as soon as you do you will miss out on all these wonderful effects that happen organically when you work with inks 
sometimes you can just pour some inks and alcohol and just let them dry on its own and you will be delighted by the kind of effects that get generated um, you know just by doing that and leaving the inks do their magic so I'm gonna wait and let's see how much time it takes to dry that will also depend on the weather conditions you are in when it is really really humid you will see water droplets forming like I can see although it is not humid here sometimes air drying creates some kind of water droplets which I can observe happening over here which is okay and now I'll just wait let me just bring the light closer so you can see the gold shining the reason I'm not rushing it I'm not making the video faster it's just to show you how much time it takes for it to dry if it is a larger paper and if you have used more alcohol it will take even more time so be patient don't rush it Now this technique is okay when you have to work on smaller surfaces maximum A4 where you can fill the entire surface with alcohol and do it at once but when you are going to work on larger surfaces you cannot do this you cannot pour so much alcohol at once and then wait for it to dry because you cannot control the drying outcome so much so in that case the next technique that I'm going to show you will work better where we will start with small areas and we'll keep moving forward so that would be the next technique I'm just thinking of what to talk about while it is drying so <laughs> if you are getting really impatient like I am you can blow on it with your mouth <laughs> also remember uh, if you are using a straw if you don't have this tool you might end up using a straw to mix the colors you will notice that even more water droplets form while it is drying that is because dry, um, this this tool doesn't add any extra moisture to your painting while blowing with a straw you will be blowing moisture from my mouth from your mouth right into the painting and that will create even bigger water droplets if you have to do it with a straw take a paper straw instead of a plastic or a metal straw because um, this does not absorb any moisture and after a while you will start seeing uh, droplets of moisture falling from the straw so we don't want that at all so use a paper straw if you are going to use a straw for this technique I just like this tool because I can blow from this side and this side any side without uh, you know uh, moving the paper so if your paper is stuck it becomes really difficult to blow with the straw because you have to have access from all the four sides just using this tool to dry this a little faster all right so now my painting has dried and it is time to remove the tape as I told you it is you know just don't rush it remove the tape slowly now how to remove the tape slowly is um, first you need to heat it I'm sorry first you need to heat the tape so that it becomes warm and comes off easily I am going to remove my gloves for it because it's really hard to pick the edges of the tape with the um, so I'm gonna heat the tape with the dryer like this and then peel it gently I'll keep my dryer next to the part where I'm peeling and very very gently just remove the tape. You know no part of the uh, paper should come out when you are uh, removing the tape. 
that will damage the paper so we don't want that so heat the tape like this and start peeling it slowly a little bit of ink always seeps out sometimes sometimes it doesn't um, from the part where the tape overlaps so you might have to clean it later once you're done with the entire painting love the clean surface that clean edges they're, they're the best guys could not see the shine of the gold because the light angle is such but look at it now now about these um, ink marks that seep from the side for that what I do is I take any q-tip or earbud um, then put some alcohol on top of it like this and just wipe it it will come off any part that you need to clean you can either use a tissue paper if it is a larger area if it is small like this you can use a q-tip and clean it by dipping it in alcohol and just wiping some colors will be very dark and harder to remove so you might have to go twice once with your uh, simple earbud and then again with the clean side of it because like this side is stained now so I'm using the other side yeah so now it's nice and clean with sharp edges good look at the shine of the gold and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of creating simple fade without using any drying tool so now the next thing that we are going to do is do something like this only but if we were working on a larger surface what would we do for this I have taken out uh, 8 inches Nara paper circle so this time we are going to start small and move forward into um, any side that you want to go towards so the process still remains the same it's just that we have to be a little faster and not let the ink dry in the direction where we are moving so the first thing that I will do here is pour some alcohol in a small patch like uh, this much. Let me bring the light closer and I, I hope that it falls on the gold so it is visible this time. I will then take few drops of one color this is again the same color combination I just want to show you how the two techniques differ then some blue on the other side shaking pinata brass vigorously before I put it always put it on top of everything so that it floats then some more ink so till now the process is the same and be very you know forceful when pushing on the gold so that it starts to move and doesn't accumulate now here a little bit of ink is going out of the paper I am okay with that because I'm not um, uh, it's a circular paper I cannot tape it as you can see the gold is becoming a little stubborn and not moving so much that's that's actually very normal you will get nice shimmers 
um, at the surface of your painting so it's absolutely okay so after mixing it a bit I I will then add alcohol outside this I mean just touching touching the stuff that I've already done and outside like this and then some more ink wherever I want to put and another color probably and then you start pushing the ink into the alcohol just make sure that the both both these sections start to mix the one that has <coughs> that you poured first and the one that you put just now so mix in such a way once from this side and once from that side so back and forth back and forth that's the action that you need to do so that they mix into each other without creating any white patches If you find that your gold is becoming stubborn, you can even, you know, rub on it with a brush so that it starts to float and come uh, at the top. I am pushing the gold a little more because uh, in my case, it is looking a bit stubborn and not moving much. So that's why. you have to be quick don't let this part dry the area where you are moving so always add more alcohol at the edges like this so that it doesn't get time to dry then you can add some more inks here some more gold on top of your ink always shake the bottle see now this is what you will see happening that the gold uh, i mean the ink will get pushed towards one side now observe what you have to do you have to push this into the alcohol okay and you have to push from this side alcohol into the ink so back and forth that is what you need to do back and forth back and forth motion once from this side once from the other side you need to push and mix them you can keep playing in areas that are wet but once they have started to dry you cannot play in those areas again because once you add more alcohol you will create a separate patch so unless you want that um, you can you have to be careful about keeping it wet in the direction where you are going so I'll move forward over here if you if I want just some white wispy section to happen I'll just pour some alcohol I will not add any extra ink so outside and then just push the ink into that alcohol a bit just like this and then I leave it so that I get nice uh, light section happening here we don't have to fill the entire paper this time because that we did in the previous technique you can leave white spaces they look really cool so now moving forward over here just some more blowing be observe what is happening on your paper and you will be able to control what you are doing so this time I am not going to work more here I will just reactivate this section and every time you add alcohol you will see that alcohol will start displacing your ink like this so just add more color in the part <coughs> add some more gold 
you can do the same thing without using any gold as well so gold is not a compulsory tool to, i mean ink to have just in case you don't have it it's absolutely okay you can still attempt the you can still attempt the technique without using any gold mixing the ink into the alcohol and alcohol into the ink that is what we keep doing and pushing the gold a little extra some kind of things will start happening on their own that is the beauty of working with alcohol inks so just doing some more here i think i'll go till here a drop of dark blue and some teal alcohol this ink into that alcohol and alcohol into the ink that's how we just keep moving forward remember gold is a heavy pigment so it will clump and it will stay at one place and not move so for that you can use a tool and just scrub on it a little bit like this so that it comes up sometimes it doesn't come up so you can use any tool to or a brush to scrub on the gold so that it comes up All you need to do is practice with this tool to control how you how you move your inks how much inks to use how much gold to use this will come with a little bit of practice and i'm sure each one of you will be able to do it very soon and i think we are done and I can of course keep going and filling the entire surface just like we did in the previous technique but I wanted to show you how to leave these white sections or areas which look very light and wispy so that's why I you know poured a little extra alcohol here and did not mix the color into it so much that's why I got this nice fading happening here again it has almost you know we are done because the inks are not moving anymore so there's no point in blending it i'll just leave it and let it dry naturally again i'm just picking this extra ink that got accumulated here there's a lot of ink and alcohol solution that might have seeped under the paper as well so just be careful when you pick it up later be careful about that and not let it come to the top of your uh, painting and now we wait i don't know how to show you where the gold is shining so i'm just picking up my light and bringing it slightly on top of the painting so that it's more visible always keep your bottles closed and let tighten because they will dry and they will create some powder kind of uh, thing at the neck of the bottle and next time you pour you will find that some sediment drops powdery kind of stuff stuff drops from the bottle so that's why keep your bottles closed now all we need to do is wait for it to dry naturally so this is how we do <clears throat> color blending without using any drying tool the next thing that i'm going to show you is to do it with the drying tool that would be the next video so we we'll just wait for it to dry and i'll pick it up and show it to you after that
do not pick up the painting till the time it has completely dried because you will be moving the inks around so be patient and wait some kind of lines and textures will form on its own this is all natural alcohol ink magic so don't you know um think of getting rid of it or anything just let it happen because that's the beauty of working with alcohol inks they create some nice see over here some nice lines have formed and over here something is happening and it's just so much fun to watch the painting is evolving while it is drying you know i'm so uh, tempted to keep playing with it all the time <laughs> till the time it's like almost dry you can only play in the wet areas one thing that you have to be careful about is using more alcohol initially if you are worried and if you are not using enough when you start you will end up um, uh, letting the painting dry faster and that will create a problem because then you will have to add more alcohol and if you add alcohol on the dried part it will create a separate patch of whatever you do next and in this technique it looks like a continuous thing happening so that's why i don't want you to you know have less alcohol to begin with so start with more so that you don't have to worry i am just blowing with this tool to make the drying little faster not going to use the dryer here this has like almost dried the inks have become thick they're not moving even with the tool so it has kind of almost dried but i want to make sure that it is completely dry before i pick it up because there is definitely wet ink underneath my painting that seeps from the edges so i'm going to use a dryer and just hold it at a distance see how far away i am so i'm just holding it at a distance so that i don't create any uh, lines or textures with the dryer i'm just providing some heat just to make sure that my painting is dry so just grab a tissue and once i pick it up you will see see so much ink underneath it i'm drying the back side as well so that i don't touch it looks like a nice design at the back as well Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will see you in the next one where we use the dryer to do similar kind of effects with alcohol inks. <laughs>